We were busy in the Storm Center Monday as our second tropical depression of the season quickly formed in the uh, central Atlantic. I'm Jeff Hoffman with this tropical weather update. No need for immediate concern here in the state of Florida, but certainly something we have to watch over the coming days. Satellite picture shows the system. It's very small in nature, but it is tightly wound and it exhibited some uh, circulation. Pressures have been lowering and some thunderstorms have been firing near the center, so it became a depression very quickly uh, Monday afternoon as classified by the Hurricane Center around 430. You can see there on the visible satellite, see that rotation? Uh, it's a system that if it were to strengthen, uh, might do so very quickly, but it's going to run into dry air. First, I want to show you the forecast from the Hurricane Center, and that is largely for it to stay as a depression and probably dissipate as it approaches the Leeward Islands on Thursday. The models are in general agreement on this track to the west-northwest, approaching uh, the Leeward Islands there Thursday night. Uh, then if it dissipates, it obviously will just probably drift into the Caribbean. If it holds together, model data suggests it might turn a little more to the north and west uh, toward the island of Hispanic. So that's why we've got to keep an eye on this just in case it does not uh, dissipate. But look at this hurdle. It has to jump this dry air. Now it's carrying its own moisture right now, uh, but a lot of that dry air will probably be ingested into the storm by midweek. You can see that here on future track. You see the pocket of dry air there. It kind of gets wrapped in and it causes the system to sort of fade away by Thursday and Friday, but it will still at least be a tropical wave heading in our direction. Even if it overcomes the dry air, watch this. It has a significant amount of wind shear developing on its east and northeast side there, all that yellow and orange, and that would likely rip the storm apart. But this time of year, those areas I just showed you is where storms could form and typically do form. So we will, of course, keep a watch over the coming days.